Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about Crash Landing on You. Crash Landing on You tells the story of two star-crossed lovers. Yoon Seri, a South Korean Chaebol heiress, and Ri Jong Hyuk, a member of the North Korean elite and the captain of the North Korean Special Forces. One day, while Siri goes on a short paragliding ride in Seoul, South Korea, a sudden tornado knocks her out and blows her off course. She awakens to find herself up in a tree in the DMZ in North Korea, an area forbidden for South Koreans. There, she meets Ri Jong Yok, literally falling into his arms from the tree. Ri Jong Yok eventually gives Siri shelter and develops a plan to secretly return her to South Korea. Over time, they fall in love despite the divide and dispute between their respective countries. When I saw this drama on Netflix, I couldn't contain my joy. There were tons and tons of positive reviews and very high ratings given to this drama. So I just had to watch it too and get involved. Crash Landing on You was great, very addictive and very well thought through. The plot had the perfect amount of romance, comedy and action in it. Almost every episode ended with a cliffhanger but I timed it well because I didn't have to wait another week for an episode. So I binge watched it. I rated this drama 4 stars. The reason why I didn't give it 5 stars is because of two things. Number one, from the things I've heard North Koreans are brutal and very strict. I know it's fictional, but I just felt like we didn't get the right representation of what life is really like in North Korea. Number two is the whole fate nonsense. I'm not a huge believer in things just happening. This happens in a lot of Korean dramas where our characters coincidentally meet each other and it just makes me roll my eyes. Like how small is Seoul? Hmm. Now our main leads were perfect. They, they were perfect for their roles. I couldn't imagine anyone else playing their characters other than Hyunbin and Son Yejin. I like Hyunbin anyway, he's handsome and a badass. Also, I don't know why, but there's something mesmerizing about his voice. I don't know what it is, it just compels you. As for Son Yejin, I loved her outfits and how strong she was. I really liked how our main leads were from North and South Korea. Why? Because it roughly shows us the dangers of what happens between two star-crossed lovers. The cast in this drama is definitely one of the best I've seen in a long time. The secondary characters were my favourite. Hyunbin's comrades really made this drama for me. They were hilarious and the episode where they end up in South Korea really made me laugh. Overall, yes, I really liked this drama. It was so unique and fun and it made me cry. The scene where Hyunbin has to go back to North Korea and the comrades and when they're saying goodbye to each other. That bit really made me cry. Dramas that make me cry hold a very special place in my heart. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.